On December 6th, we heard this claim about the COVID-19 vaccines. It's the deadliest vaccine ever made. That was a clip of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. speaking in front of the Louisiana House Committee on Health and Welfare. RFK Jr. is a nephew of former President John F. Kennedy and chairman of a group called Children's Health Defense. Vanity Fair described Kennedy as an unlikely North Star to a network of vaccine skeptics. So we wondered, is he right? Is the COVID-19 vaccine the deadliest ever made? It's time for the Truth or Meter Minute. Hi everyone, it's Samantha with PolitiFact. To support his claim, RFK Jr. relied on information from the federal government's Vaccine Adverse Effects Reporting System, an open database commonly known as VAERS. But there are big issues with citing VAERS because the database isn't audited. Anyone can report any health effect that might occur after a vaccination, whether or not it is believed to be caused by a vaccine. The reports aren't verified before they're entered and can include things like car accidents and self-injury. Still, anyone with a computer can search the information and download it. VAERS has a disclaimer that says reports may include incomplete, inaccurate, coincidental, and unverified information. People using the database are required to click on a form that says that they understand these limitations. The CDC told PolitiFact that it hasn't detected any unusual or unexpected patterns for deaths from the COVID-19 vaccine. Nothing indicates that the vaccines are causing large amounts of people to die. There have been six confirmed deaths following the Johnson & Johnson vaccine due to complications from a rare and serious adverse reaction involving blood clots. The reaction prompted officials to pause injections of the vaccine for about 10 days. We talked to Renee Nahida, an epidemiologist and editor of the College of Physicians of Philadelphia's History of Vaccines website. He said it's difficult to compare the COVID-19 vaccines with ones from decades ago because the technology and communication are better. He said, if anything, a very small signal of an adverse reaction would be detected and identified more quickly now than it was back then. Medical experts told PolitiFact that the COVID-19 vaccines are comparable to others. They also said that vaccines overall have, in rare cases, been associated with adverse events, even including diseases that they're meant to prevent. When the flu vaccine rolled out in the 1970s, for example, it was found that on very rare occasions, people developed Guillain-Barr syndrome after being vaccinated. Guillain-Barr is a disorder in which the immune system attacks the nerves, and it can also result from the flu itself. In the late 1990s, the live virus Rotashield vaccine was found to be a rare cause of intussusception, a type of bowel blockage. There was one death, and the vaccine was pulled from the market. This was caught by the same surveillance systems that we have now. Meanwhile, medical officials and analysts say that vaccines have saved more lives than any other single medical advance. Vaccinations have reduced disease, disability, and death from a variety of infectious diseases. It's time for the rating. RFK Jr. said that the COVID-19 vaccine is the deadliest vaccine ever made, according to deaths reported in VAERS. The agencies that run VAERS say that its reports cannot be used on their own to establish whether a vaccine caused any adverse event. Health officials also say that the COVID-19 vaccines are safe and comparable to others, and that they would have been discontinued if they had caused many deaths. We rate this claim, pants on fire. Thanks so much for watching. For more fact checks, go to politifact.com or subscribe.